What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Fo One Six. Today we are at Pico Line, a little north of the six. Yeah, north of the six, yeah. at pretty much like Vaughn Mills. Um, actually, it's right next door to our uh, our good buddy over at Aussie's Burgers there. Um, so, yeah, we we were almost gonna stop in for a second and uh, and say hi, but you know the pho awaits, right? So. Um, Fancy little uh, chopstick holders here. Yeah. That's why it's an $11 bowl. <laughs> $11 bowl of pho. And if you Looks want really a large, nice it's 13 uh, You know, those are Vaughn prices. Uh, you know a little better than I. Because mm -hmm. uh, you live up here, or like in Woodbridge, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this was actually a hungry smooshy recommendation. Our friend Sasha. And yeah, it was her, right? Yeah, but she, to be honest with you, like 100%, we shout out to Sasha, but... I literally just googled best fun in Vaughn and this came okay. up with the most reviews so that's literally how I found it today. The most reviews and still a 4.2 I believe you yeah. said? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sweet. Um, one thing I guess as well that I'll point out that I like is individual. they actually serve like your bean sprouts and your basil and all of that on a little separate um, plate. Also lime as well on there and a little Thai chili as well. So. Anyway, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right. Pretty good broth. Not bad at all. The broth, the more you drink it, the better it gets, actually. Noodles feel nice. They stretch. I can tell it's piping hot. You see the steam rising off that? I don't know where I put my phone. Oh, dude, we made the same mistake as last time. We didn't get any pictures. <laughs> you can get it right after the video. We'll get a, we can uh, still get a nice pull. All right. And the meat's nice. This one says beef mm -hmm. sirloin and brisket. Yeah, so they usually fancy. don't talk about what kind of beef it, uh, it actually is, but for this one on their menu, it actually does say sirloin. Um, which I actually like. That was a nice touch. Actually mentioning what type of cut of beef it is. And I gotta say, it's fresh bowl. I almost feel like this is like almost like long overdue because last week we went for pho, but it was like not a good bowl. So like, I've been craving a good bowl of pho. You know, we've been giving a lot of attention to the basil farmers here at 416, but I do want to Listen, shout out... Listen, we can't forget about the basil uh, farmers. God, man, they work so hard. Shout out to the basil farmers, but we don't forget about our Pico Lime boys. Oof. Pico Lime farmers, shout out to you guys. Yeah, shout out to the basil farmers. We love you guys, and we appreciate you. <laughs> so I'm going to shred a couple, and then I'm going to throw a hole on them. New strategy from from uh, you. You told me that. Yeah. Since Flo Lim, I did that once. Shout out to uh, Maddie, Matheson. Maddie Matheson on the new Fa inspiration. Keeping the leaves big and throwing in the lime after you've squeezed it a little bit. Put some of these in. Some beans. I like how they give you individual portions too. It's like way less messy. You know, this like, is a good bowl of pho. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, the individual portion sizes for sure. You know what's crazy? It's like before this, I didn't know where to get pho and vaughn. Hey, hey bro, can we get a little shot where we're just both doing a noodle pull? Mm. Just for the thumbnail, you know? I'm waiting for you. Wait, wait. Get one. <laughs> Sweet. 
Yeah, you know it's good when you hold off on the uh, uh, on the sriracha. I think it's like the perfect amount of salt. It's not too salty. It's not like, you know, flavorless either. The beef has a I nice don't know if I'm wrong also, but like, doesn't this taste more like maybe like a chicken broth? I don't know. I don't want to make any claims no, on no. that because... No, I definitely believe that's not true because it's pho. I don't think they do No, chicken. no, no. Yeah, like they have, they have chicken pho, by the way. No, but isn't it still the same beef, like, bone marrow? A lot of time it is, like, but you know that pho actually refers not to the broth so much, but it actually refers to the noodle. The type of noodle is like a pho noodle, mm. rice noodle, you know? So, little, uh, little bean sprouts as well. Shout out to the bean sprout farmers. Working... Equally as hard. <clears throat> Shout out to the chili farmers. You guys Oof. have been making these shit since uh, 1997. <laughs> oh my god! I can't. Believe, I can't believe ni 1997 is your is your birthday. Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> wow. Definitely come back here. Yeah, this is this is an interesting one. My score is gonna be interesting. It's definitely a come back to place for sure. Like if you if you live in the area, or even if you live live a bit out of the way. I could see that this could become someone's like staple place. Even someone who's, you know, a more experienced pho lover, you know? I feel like this is where you would bring someone to try pho. If you live in yeah, it's a, yeah, for sure. Good starter pho. Like you don't always have to start someone at pho Lin. Well, if you lived in this area, right? Because I wouldn't want to travel all the way to pho Lin, you know? Yeah, I mean? there's a chance, you know, they might not like it. And that Dufferin station is a little, um, I don't know, a little <laughs> bit packed. Did you already sriracha it up or not? Not yet. Can I see the sriracha, buddy? Ooh. Maybe a little hoisin. I find that I'm... Kind of like not liking the poison as much these days. Not giving it as much love, to be honest. It almost has a sweetness to it. It is sweet, yeah. The poison. Yeah. I feel like it's because of that. What was that place called? That one the really sweet broth? Oh, Bun Saigon. Because they probably <laughs> turned you off of the sweet. Yeah, that turned me off like. On like the sweetness in a pho, because they were just way too sweet. Way that that was really the only thing that was wrong with that bowl. It's just like they were way too sweet. They had really good spring rolls, all that, but I noticed that Epic Meal Time, you know Epic Meal Time, mm -hmm. they're starting to do stuff that's a little bit more like just two of the guys going out for food. The bearded guy? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Harley and uh, one of the other guys from the um, from the Epic Meal Time. They live in Toronto, right? Or somewhere around here? Yeah, yeah. Maybe not in the And they, they went to Rudy oh, yeah. the, uh, the other day. So yeah, it's really cool actually, yeah. I, th I would say I almost find that more entertaining than um, some of their epic mealtime stuff, which was like super over the top. They were one of the OGs in YouTube oh, yeah. fruity like shit. Yeah, I think they changed. Um, like they they changed so the food proper. Scene. They were like so like you know 
Mm. No filter and like. It's the reason now why, like fine fine dining, for example, has become something that's a lot more accessible, because they brought it down to a, a level where everyone will kind of like treat themselves occasionally. Like there's yeah, like there used to be, you know, you'd have like your 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 places like you know your blue. Blue Blood Steakhouse or your Barbarian Steakhouse and that, and that would just be for like the super like or like the wealthy and this and that. Right. But like, there's a lot more places that are kind of catering to everything, and then there's a lot of like places that would have just been burger joints back in the day that are now upping what they're doing and they're doing more like gourmet style and that kind of thing, right? So, and it's it's changed because there is so much merging between like. Gourmet fine dining and like cheap eats. Oh yeah, it's it's cool. It's cool because a lot of these places now they keep their classic menu and flair, but they add the gourmet ingredients like uh, you know ground meat in house and you know fresh veggies and fresh buns and stuff like that. So it's like it's really cool how the food industry has uh, changed over the past a uh, few years since. Uh, YouTube and Instagram has been uh, a thing. Back to the pho, though. Past 10 years, past 10 years has, yeah. been, has been the biggest change. And actually, past five or six as well. Big. Massive changes with social media and all that kind of taking over. So, I really like the noodles. The broth is nice. Fresh, really nice fresh ingredients. The meat was tender, no complaints. I, I didn't have any bad pieces of meat. I think I'm ready for my score. Drop yours. I'm not quite there yet, but uh, actually, all right. So, no, no. I think I. All right. So, think I am. Yeah. So, I think uh, all in all, I really enjoyed this uh, bowl of fun, and it's in my hometown. So, uh, should we know. do three, two, one? Yeah. Let's do it. Three, two. two. One, 8.4. 8.4, 8.2. Really good for Yeah, um, uh, my, <laughs> I, and I might have gone a, a little no, high, no, just because, just but because I think I'm, I think I'm on, my, I think I'm on point. Sometimes you can go higher than me. Oh, for sure. Just because someone oh, goes higher sure, than you does not mean they're inexperienced. No, definitely not. This is definitely a personal not. preference. Sometimes the experience... Helps exactly. to give the bigger, better exactly. score. I think my um, score is more proper than mine, actually. Well, I okay. was going to go higher, but I was here to that you judge me. Who did we give an 8.5? I think Fatih and Than got an 8.5. Mm -hmm. So Which this is definitely my... like an 8.4 because like it's, it's, right, it's right yeah. behind that. It's right behind that. No, I think your score is more accurate. I honestly went a little lower on the eights because I thought you'd like judge me a little bit. <laughs> Truly, it is about like an 8.4, 8.5. Really good bowl. Yeah, honestly. Um, maybe we, we got to venture more, I think, into the, uh, the Vaughn, Woodbridge, Richmond Hill, Markham, north of the Sixpa. Um, is this pretty much the first spot that we're hitting? First, like, north of the six spa? I think yeah. so, eh? Yeah. I think, actually, some of the best... Oh, we did hit Pha Khan Bao, which is more, like, north, but, like, far west. Kind of your, like, Wilson and Jane neighborhood. But, you know, this is a little different. Yeah. And there's, there's a ton of Pha right around here. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, we could even do another review next time. <laughs> there's, there's a Pha spot, like, two spots down as well, so... It's really good. I think that's about it for this episode. I'm just gonna get back to this bowl because it's actually pretty incredible. I'm almost done my bowl. Look at that. Why yeah. did you see me do that? Yeah, and you don't nice. always finish all the drop. You know what? I know it's kind of a mediocre for fall when you don't even finish the, you know what? the bowl, you know? I think I scored it too low. But until next time, see you later, guys. Join us next time on Fall 1 6.